Welcome to our digital city. Just like any city is composed of different buildings, each with its specific function, a software application too can be composed of different parts. Instead of a monolithic structure where one component handles every task, imagine dividing these tasks among smaller, specialized components. Each of these tiny, self-contained units is a microservice. They handle one function, do it well, and communicate with others to create a complete software experience. So how do we erect these specialized buildings? Well, Python, with its versatile tools, simplifies the process. Consider a building whose sole purpose is to greet newcomers. Using the Flask framework in Python, it might look something like this. Voila, our greeter microservice stands tall and ready. Maybe we have another service that handles processing someone's documents. And maybe one more for arranging leases and house rentals. You can see that with microservices, we create small, simple, and easy to understand components that work together to build an entire system. This provides many different advantages. Now, after we've made some microservices, we typically use a server to deploy them. Now, that's where the sponsor of this video, Akamai, comes in. Akamai's cloud, formerly called Linode Cloud Computing, provides all of the cloud resources you need, including high-performance virtual private servers. Personally, myself and my team use Akamai for everything from load balancers, Kubernetes clusters, databases, and storage volumes. The best part is because I've been working with Akamai, formerly Linode, for over three years, all of you can claim a free $100 credit by clicking the link in the description and signing up for a new account. Now, as our city gains popularity, it's as if flights from all over want to land here. An airport efficiently directs planes to specific runways, ensuring smooth operation, and in our software context, a load balancer acts just like this airport ensuring users' requests are efficiently directed to the right microservice, ensuring everyone gets timely service without overburdening a single component. Now, we use a load balancer to direct traffic to different services based on usage, latency, and a variety of other factors. As we scale our system, we create multiple instances of each microservice, and a load balancer sits in front of them and manages the traffic across these instances. But airports have challenges too. What if a runway undergoes repairs or a specific flight needs a specific gate? Similarly, load balancers, while efficient, can face hiccups when services change or require specific handling. To handle the dynamic nature of our digital city, we resort to containers. Now, in the software realm, think of containers as specialized garages for our microservices. Each garage or container ensures that the service it houses is uniform, standardized, and possesses all of the tools and configurations it needs to function optimally. This isolation ensures our microservices run consistently, regardless of where they're deployed. But how do we craft these containers? How do we ensure that each containerized service is built, deployed, and ran in a harmonized manner? Now that's where Docker comes in. Docker is like the master architect and builder for these garages. It provides the blueprint, known as a Docker file, to describe what goes into each container. With Docker, we create an image, which is a template of our microservice, complete with its dependencies, libraries, and configurations. This image ensures that our service will run the same, be it on a developer's laptop or a massive cloud server. In essence, Docker not only helps in creating these containerized services, but ensures they are portable, consistent, and isolated, making the development, shipping, and running of our microservices a truly seamless affair. If you want to learn more about Docker, you can check out this video right here. Yet, when we zoom out, our city is just a part of a sprawling metropolis. At the enterprise level, scaling isn't just multiplying, it's strategizing. Services interconnect, data consistency becomes paramount, and the city resilience is tested. The true challenge lies in growing, not just in size, but in the efficiency and reliability of the different services that we have. Scaling our city involves making choices. Just as a city can grow upwards with taller skyscrapers or sprawl outwards covering more land, our digital metropolis can scale vertically or horizontally. Now, vertical scaling, often called scaling up, is like adding more floors to an existing building. In the digital world, it means bolstering an existing system with more power, be it RAM, CPU, storage, GPUs, etc. It's a straightforward method, but it has its ceiling. There's a limit to how tall we can build or how much hardware we can jam into one single machine. On the other hand, horizontal scaling, or scaling out, involves adding more buildings to our city, each mirroring the other. In our software city, it means adding more instances of the same service to handle the increased load. It's like creating a bridge between two parts of a city to distribute the traffic. With horizontal scaling, our city can expand almost indefinitely. 
adapting to increased demands. But it introduces complexities, ensuring every service communicates efficiently, data remains consistent, and the entire network functions as a cohesive unit. So when our city grows from a local hub to a sprawling metropolis, we're not just adding buildings, we're strategizing, ensuring traffic flows smoothly, services are interconnected, data is consistent, and our digital dwellers enjoy uninterrupted services. It's an art and science of optimizing both size and efficiency. Our digital city's journey from its microservices to its vast expanse mirrors the evolution of software, and I hope that it helped you understand the basics of microservices. If you want to learn more about scaling software and microservices, make sure to check out some of the free guides that I've linked below from our video sponsor, Akamai. They are experts at providing the tools needed for enterprise level software, and you can check them out from the link in the description. Thanks very much for watching, and make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this type of content. Thank you.